Welcome back to another episode of Slow Up Shams. In today's episode, we are chatting with Chef Noni of Plug in Indigenous. I am Nomza <laughs> you know what? In my next lifetime, I'm gonna call myself Numbula. <laughs> but you know, rightfully so, it's okay. I can definitely do that. How are you? I mean, <laughs> I come with the rain, girl. Hello. I'm the rain queen. <laughs> blessings upon blessings, eh? You know what? Yeah, right? Right? So, right? So if what? you had a superpower, yeah. what would it be and why? Ooh, a superpower would be to move, to travel the entire universe. That would be, I would love to check out the entire universe right about now. Like every planet, every galaxy, every, yeah, even, so yeah. That teleporting is, it is. Yeah, like, like in jail. Welcome but you guys, I'm just going to Mars quickly. Yeah, boom. Don't leave right. it hanging. Right? Oh, yeah. Is that, is that your superpower, girl? That's mine. Let's do that. <laughs> Let us teleport. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So when did your journey with wellness start? So... Or was it something that was always part of your life? It's always been a part of my life. You know, uh, trust me, there's nothing new that we do. It, everything is a part of who we are. You know, it's maybe it may take time for you to fully recognize, fully see that, oh, gosh, okay, actually... This is who I am. Yeah. You know? So there we go. Um, and we have to get it. I just brought the rain, guys. <laughs> Can I ask for the rain to go away? <laughs> actually were outside uh -huh. right and then the rain came because i was trying to ask it to go away but the rain didn't want to go away so were you asking or yeah. telling it to come through no i kind of wanted to be inside so here we are <laughs> <laughs> yes okay, mama okay. i think we can live with that yeah all right so um just tell us though uh when did your journey with wellness start uh i love the question i get asked the question all the time mm -hmm. And I love my answer. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> my answer is, I was born with it. I was born with it. It just takes, you know, being in the world, it takes time to uncover or rediscover who you are. Because really, I mean, I think the plan is to always maybe try to deter you or maybe move you away. But eventually, and if it is really yours, you come, you come straight into it, like boom, dive in there. So I just... How do you say dive? Pastors of dive, dove. <laughs> yes, we is. dived. <laughs> I dived into it, girl. Okay. So um, it gradually started calling me back. You know, um, it's something I was born with. I know, definitely. And it has been now calling me and saying, "Okay, girl, come back home. Come back home." And boom, here I am. I'm home. Oh, is that yeah. why you started with the medical route? So, you know, sometimes you don't write down the plans. Maybe higher powers write down the plans. Yes. So you just find yourself like, oh, I actually do not like this thing. I don't even know what happens here, but I need a job, you know? And boom, actually, <laughs> if I tell you the story of how I got that, I guys, I, I can't mention the, the deep details, but okay. I got in there as in, really? I, I'm going to go study. I passed. But yeah, it was part of the plan. So I always say that, you know what, I think the great teachers who are responsible for my journey as well wanted me in that world. Okay. Because so that, so that I know what I'm talking about when I come into this world that I am in now to say, no, actually, you know, this is the story. Okay. Basically. So trust me, basically, I know the story <laughs> over there. And now I'm over here. So I look at, I look and I compare and say, hmm, I know what I'm talking about. So it was all part of the plan. It was all part of the plan. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. And just tell me though, are you currently a strictly vegan uh, chef? No, girl. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I made fish for y'all. <laughs> I just had to ask. Cause, so, you know, you see, the path is calling me there, right? And because the world is the world, 
people are like, no, no, can you make me like some nice chicken wings with that sauce of yours? I'm like, okay. No, is that in my voice? Is that in my voice, Nani? No, girl. No. Oh. It's like, la bilung la ba ba mkonele. That was me. <laughs> so, um, um, what I do is, so I'm not vegan. No, 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 I'm not vegan, right? Um, what I do is, I eat clean food. And I want to encourage people to eat clean food. And when I say clean food is, I mean recognizing and being con- conscious of the path, the traveling of the food and how it got to me, okay. you know, and how, how, you know, how I'm going to serve it or prepare it. That is clean food, you know. Um, like today, I had to make fish for you guys. I had to actually speak to my water spirits and say, forgive us for, you know, the, 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 the life that we are about to consume. We did not take it. Right, okay. and if we had taken it, this is what we would have said. You know, may you know everything be well with, of course, the spirits that were involved in feeding us today. You know, so um, always, always bless your food, especially when you do not know where it comes from, and especially when you have to do a job like mine. You know, when people say, "Okay, there are certain things I will not cook, like pork. I, uh, that one I can't have it at all. Oh. Yeah, I can't have pork." Um, and I will not do other things like beef and goat. You know, those are not the pork, but the beef and and the the goat. The goat was not yeah. goat. Yeah, no, no, no. I will not do it just to entertain people. Oh. No, it's a secret. Okay. Uh, it's a secret animal to me, okay. as well as the the beef, the cow. You know, I mean, you know, we only so. do cows and goats when it is absolutely necessary. You know, we don't think so about we it don't, like we that. We don't think right? about it like that, right? Yeah. So yeah. We've gotten so used exactly. to it. Exactly. Good you know? I'm going to have goat meat. Oh, the way you eat goat head in your veal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the day, like this guy used to make goat head in your veal. Yeah. I'm like, mm. and I was pregnant with Selassie. I'm like, mm. goat head, please, with that chili. <laughs> Yo. That's and now when I'm thinking about it, you know that one from Cameroon. I don't know if you tasted it. No, Yo, I you got it. I don't but know I've tasted guy. the fish from your veal. Damn. Girl, everything from your is yummy. Yeah, we used so, to travel you know, for that, right? You know, when they're preparing it, you're mm. watching, and then mm. uh, they're preparing with this lime, you think, yeah. and you're thinking, you know, I'm gonna eat the that. okra. I don't know, I didn't even know what yeah. that was. Eh? I just saw this limey green it's thing. Okra and it's so yummy, man. It's so yummy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. So they have okra, mohoru, everything in there, girl. So, yeah, that's you know, also now I can't have that anymore because there's everything in there, you know, and I also I can't have fish. But mm. should I slaughter my chicken for umsebenzi ceremony? I will eat it. Should okay. I slaughter my my goat? I will definitely eat so it. So you're not should vegan I in that way. No, I'm not vegan in that way. So I'm I am I yes I like I said I eat food that I that is clean. So meaning so I, the sauce I want, is, is very important. Yeah. for you. Oguti yazin no sauce. you speak even if you want to slaughter a chicken right remember it's a life you are taking here. Yes. So there's got to be a way for you to exchange and, um, and, and send this life back into the spirit world, you know, so it can find its way back into this world, you yes. understand, mm-hmm. peacefully. And so that when you eat the body, it does not harm you, mm. right? We're not thinking about that. It's so that deep, eh? I want, It's that deep. Oh, girl, let's not get into that <laughs> one. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on swiftly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, Nani, um, amongst all of the things that you do, right, mm-hmm. uh, you were part of... Um, the chefs with compassion. Compassion. Yeah. Can you tell us about that? Yeah. Hey, lockdown things. You just find yourself. In fact, <clears throat> it's part of the journey, girl. Hmm. Trust me. There's no mistake in your travels. There is not even a single Definitely. single error. So um, after, of course, I quit my job in 2019, and um, I had met people. Of course, they introduced me to other people, and I met this. Um, this Can we go back a bit? Yeah. You quit your job. Yeah. You just quit your job. I quit, like, like quit on payday. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Your girl. Oh, Who yes, my that? So I quit my job on payday on the 28th. Wow. Let me tell you what had happened. What had happened was. So what happened was, I was working towards a, I think a holiday or some cash, extra cash. I'm like, I'm yeah. going to work all my weekends in the whole of, you know, March. Mm. I'm going to do everything. I'm going to do, you know, Saturdays, I'm going to do stock take. I'll do everything at work. You know, I was, yeah, working for one of the, uh, one of the big pharmaceutical um, companies. And I'm like, you know what? 
So when I get this money, I'm gonna do this. Hi, girl. That's <clears> it. <throat> this is after now incidences that had happened at work, you okay. know, where that affected my spirit. Just a sign for me to leave work. It was a sign. I did not listen. <laughs> 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 you know so and then the the story was okay so 28th of march payday how you can on with three foot in it just yes it is never like it disturbs your sleep i see the message i'm like no okay maybe you mean 3 a.m 3 a.m the message comes in my my, my salary i'm mm. like I, maybe it's coming again maybe another one is coming for the overtime oh, because okay. this is not it this is not can't be the increase this can't be overtime and this can't be salary you know and i thought you got that much more because you did all that work and you decided you know what i have enough just so you know how the universe will just sit there and say mm-hmm, this <coughs> is a bonus sana okay we will see huh so I'm um, mangits. This message isn't coming. Mm-hmm. I, I'm like, okay, this is it. I am not gonna get this money. I recorded myself. I'm like, okay, I'm quitting my job today because something is happening with me, and this thing needs me to listen. So I'm gonna quit my job, and I'm going to um, go and follow what this thing is, whatever it is. Whether it's I the wind calling you. me, it will just take me wherever it's calling me. I quit. I went and packed my uniform, all dressed up in, you know how I do. I stop at work and everybody looked at me on some <clears throat> that could only mean one thing she's quitting on the 28th without a notice you cannot come back to this campaign oh, wow. i'm like no i'm not gonna come back <laughs> <laughs> this is the final one go. what is happening to me i cannot not explain anymore. to you you know i cannot explain in in your terms mm. in or even in the books that we that are sitting in your hr office in your hr files there is no explanation for what is happening to me because the world chooses not to have an explanation for what happens to us when when the real you calls you. So the it's real me went and said, it. "Girl, I'm here, man. Let's go. Come let's on, go, yeah. let's go, let's go." And I was trying to not listen. It kept slapping me around, Poof. you know. And, and then, then it I, said, "Linda." Yeah. I said, "Listen." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? You know so. I decided, okay, I'm gonna give myself a chance, and I did. I'm you know, so I, happy you did, though. Yeah, no, I'm happy I did. Trust me, I am the happiest person right now. Battling fireballs, though, you know, like, sh- like, yeah, I got this. Even you know? if you stayed, you still yeah. be battling fireballs. Thank you. you know? I, no, I was going to be dipped in volcanic <clears throat> fire things. Then I wasn't gonna survive if I had stayed. So I'm glad I did not. <laughs> I'm glad I made that choice. Okay. So yeah. Before I interrupted you. Yes, I was telling you about Makers Valley. Yes. <laughs> All right. So this lady that I met, her name is Ilka, German lady, very beautiful heart. Um, 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 that sounds. She's like, listen, Noni, you cook for me, right? I want to do something. I want to do a, I want to create, a, I want to make soup because people are going through so much. Mm-hmm. I was going through so much. As Let me well. tell you girls. First of all, I, I've just quit my job right and, it and has the world closes so work closes so the whole of 2019 was just wrong okay but with a whole lot of rights and a whole lot of wrongs okay you know you're like oh okay <clears throat> there was a balance right and then 2020 she's like if you can make like 60 liters of soup so we can go feed people you know down in makers valley and uh we'll see she literally bought the ingredients brought them to my house i cooked the soup i actually have i even, I even have a video okay. i cooked and we fed 80 people that day in the Bertrams area. Ah, uh, it became a this thing. This was the beginning of yeah, lockdown, right? The beginning of lockdown. Then uh, Victoria Yards opened up a kitchen and I collaborated together with the people there, okay. Food I Love You, Umpo, and um, a bunch of other people that are around Victoria Yards and we started cooking. And it became, it got deep. It got deep, it got deep. It's still going even today, though I'm not with them anymore. Yeah. And then uh, Chefs of Compassion saw what we're doing in, in Batiazin. We're gonna donate some food as well to this project to make it big. People started getting food parcels. Every, you know, many organizations started getting in and, you know, bring, bringing in. So that was a life-changing experience, getting to <coughs> feed yo. I actually had the numbers, I forgot mm. them. You know, you get to feed so many people in one day and you're like, wow this is amazing yeah. and all you know is mobile engine you have to just now where you're taking back is kaftina i survived from that soup kitchen you know because lockdown was happening and i have no other plans and everybody else is like 
okay there's nothing open no deliveries mm. like like you are right there so though i felt like i was suppressed mm. i felt like this was that time um for me to 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 show the world and more than just the world to show myself who i am you know in the midst of chaos yes. because there was so much chaos happening and i'm like you know what so what how am i going to who am i in this whole mess you know so that was a, a, a another self discovery moment to say oh girl but just because the world is in shambles and in 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 pieces this is who you are still you know and i i still I, I, you know so i found myself there as well i got to meet people and people introduced me to people and it's leading to today you know so every event is not a mistake everything that happened happened just for today to happen so when they say everything happens for a reason trust it mama trust it it does happen for a reason so in my life yeah <laughs> there are no mistakes <laughs> <laughs> Helping others held you through this ordeal, Mama. It's actually my journey. So, as a healer, it's not about you. You don't even heal yourself. Trust me. You like, look, oh, can somebody help me? <laughs> <laughs> Who's here for me? Who's here for me? You like, okay, what did what did I give that person? Can I drink it too? No, <laughs> no. It wasn't for you. As, it wasn't for me. As a healer. It is not about you. It's living for another, and trust me, that is when you know power comes in when you are when you give yourself. You know. So remember, there's that in and out. Yes. So when you go and give out, something comes back in. You know, and you also get to heal in the process of healing another. You understand? Because we don't know how deeply connected we are. That's how we still don't know. You know, when you see somebody. And you're looking at them, you know, you don't know their story, and then you get to give them a plate of food, you know, and then you see the smile on their face, you know, and you're like, oh, there we go, you know, it does the things, and then you get to hear people talk about it, good, oh my gosh, you know, this girl did the things, or this, you know, oh, like talk, it's okay. been, yeah, every, you know, and <laughs> I think it is living for another is the best thing you can do for yourself because if you live for another person. Trust me, you're gonna put yourself over there. You're not gonna think about oh me, oh me, and this and me and me and mm. no. You understand? You're thinking, okay, what can I do for so and so? What can I do for so and so? And when you go and hit that spot, yeah. oh gosh, it releases so much, you know, um, joy. It releases so much healing as well, you know. So you, we heal by healing others. Oh, that's beautiful. Right? And we 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 get by giving others. So yeah. I don't think a lot of us get that, eh? No, we don't. We don't because you know what? Now the world is, is teaching us. Remember, the world's the the, the 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 role of the world is to to remove you from who you are, to remove you from you know the values that not just you or people, but the values of this earth. You know, I mean, we we it's not it's not just soil and. And, and trees mm. we're living in a living it's, deeper, it's a yeah. living you know um it's she's the mother you know so by by living with her values you know you literally uh, gosh you, you are god yourself, <laughs> you know? so we don't know you how much image. you know the connection so somebody's gonna walk there as well you know so, she's not walking blind yeah blindly. exactly you know so yeah mama so in your world george he doesn't no, work with you no no mama <laughs> the, the foot does the things it must do <laughs> it walks right there <laughs> okay can you tell us uh what are you serving us today oh wow <laughs> so i made something new today not so new new but i always always i'm always encouraged to do something new or twist a recipe so i made you guys tip and sweet potato bread steamed bread and yeah i was looking at them like do the things do the things do the things do the things <laughs> boom like you did with the rings. there it is girl just, oh well i'm not, sorry let's not do the rings okay story. um we'll yeah, talk moving about the on swiftly when the cameras go off <laughs> <laughs> and 
So I made you guys um, that stiff and uh, sweet potato bread. I actually, got, I got those sweet potatoes from the old market from Malawi. And um, of course, Steph is from um, Ethiopia. So there's a little bit of Southern, Eastern. And then I made you guys something from the Congo, those mushrooms. Oh, I made a salsa from those mushrooms, the wild mushrooms, the wood ear wild mushrooms. Um, I put that together with mango as well as imbuya. So like a quick saute of imbuya, which is tepe, amaranth, the wild green stuff that you just everybody just walks on like the world shouldn't be starving <clears throat> like africa is starving but the imbu is like all over the garden like you know i look forward to summer so much because i go crazy I, like the other day i went i had a cooking class you know um um at victoria yard as well i picked like a whole basket of imbu yeah. And I went and took it and I'm like, why must we stop? If you can, even if you can just go and at least have gay papa, not so, in, I don't encourage pap, but you know, <laughs> but, but you no, can no, do no. Nimbuya girl, papa no, but Nimbuya you, is you, life. You had your grandmother. Oh, my great grandmother, actually. Oh, yes. Man. You had your coco teaching you all these mm. things. And some of us are not that lucky. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know, girl. Cause, yeah, because right now I don't I like have no it. idea what you're talking about. All I know, maybe it's green <laughs> because but, it grows from the ground, right? <laughs> <laughs> when it's on my plate and it tastes mm, nice, I eat. Right, right. Where it come from? Um, it's another and this story. Is, and this is the part we need to all pay attention to: where our food is coming from, who handles our food, who touches our food. In what energy spaces are they in? Mm -hmm. Who prepares your food? Who, how are they when they prepare the food? You know, because there's energy in food. Remember, this is you don't, we don't eat dead food. Food is alive. Eish. That is why food gives you life Eish. because food is alive. So if it's being handled from this hand to that hand, to that hand, who girl needs a wood for my china? Because of figure go green. green. How did you <coughs> drive all that way <coughs> from China and you're green? I was kept in the anyway, yeah. um right? <laughs> <laughs> No, we do it. We do it. It's the truth. It's the truth, mama. We I'm, do it. It's like it's cooking. Mm. No. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> what are your other favorite things to do? Oh. I like making spaces look pretty. I like creating with my hands. I have really hard, ugly hands, but they make beautiful things. Okay. You're and not showing hands the, here. Yeah, no, no, me, I, I can happily just with this camera. <laughs> These are my hands. I'm not showing ah, yeah. <laughs> ah, Hulk looking hands. You can see my hands. <laughs> and you know, and when, and when my husband touches my hand, it goes, Shame, oh my poor God. Poor dude. My hands are so hard and dry. <laughs> but he knows. <laughs> I can do magic with these hands. You see, ugly hands create the most beautiful things. Okay. Sort of like broken little things. When you put it together with love, they go and do, they create beautiful things. So my hands, I'm a, I'm a creator. I'm a creator, so that is why I call myself a goddess too. Oh, okay. Because I create. Anybody that creates is a god and a goddess. If you create, you must go and put yourself with... I think I need a t-shirt. I need a t-shirt that says add my yes. <laughs> Make a t-shirt like that, right? There we go. If you are, if you create from scratch, I create in the kitchen from scratch. I create in the garden from scratch. I create in the everywhere from scratch. Mm -hmm. You know, I put thing, little things together. I'm like, whoo! Yes! I'm this always amazed by menu, eh? Yeah, right? Ah, no, trust me, girl. I have, no, I, the have other day I, I have, have angels I was... whispering in my head, in my head. Wow, well, <laughs> I, I can, you know, I can tell when, mm. when you're eating the food, because, mm. mm. dude, you have me eating pears and something and something and something, like, oh, yeah. oh my, and it right? was delicious. Right? I, I would have never thought of combining those that, things. I, that's what, that's what blows, blows people away, you know? And I love that space where I'm creating. So I, oh, I also make, also make this, this was my first my first first craft or my first thing of moving towards myself oh. so this is how i used to pay rent when my when rent was a thousand rand girl not now <laughs> <laughs> not now you okay. know i used to make i used to make earrings from whatever you know and i would walk 
and say, I didn't this know is this what I had. Of your yeah, this is this was a part of my journey before after high school. You're running away from, you know, who you or whatever it is that's you know trying to catch you, and mm. you're trying to catch something else. You're like, oh, but I wanna, I wanna be a fashion designer. I wanted to be a fashion designer. Okay. I wanted to be an interior designer, and uh, yeah, and make things. But yeah. So I don't quite do that right now, but I can get, I think the creation part of me, that the creative side of me was just crying out to say, girl, make whatever. So you don't do that? Make anything. You don't do any of that? I do make yet. earrings for myself. So I, I'm actually guided to actually start making earrings for myself and wear my own shoes. Make I have to wear my own shit, girl. <laughs> no offense, girl. I love your shit. <laughs> and that's the thing. I assume that you got it from um, uh, Kaiso. The, the, these, yes. No, that is why I love her pieces because there's something about her pieces that say this my story as well. You know, I think you guys operate yeah, the same yeah, way. The energy it, that yeah. she gives into the pieces that she makes. She's, you know? Trust me, I when I saw her stuff, I'm like, okay, yeah, I can deal with this. You know, but again, yeah, now I'm told no, no. Go. Like everything got stripped off. Like mm, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> take it off. Did you forget make, who you are? Make for yourself. <laughs> Remember you. Know? you. Oh. Yo, yo, so that's exactly the powers that we, you know, as a, a god or a goddess, you're given the power to be able to live away from the, the worldly things, you know. To as a own. person, I can seriously right now go and create my own things with my own hands. I can build a house, girl. Don't look at me like this. Um, I can build a house, okay? Okay. Okay, maybe the roof might have things, <laughs> wind, but, you know. But I can build a house, I can build me a <laughs> stove, so like I can go do the garden and I can ask the ground to feed me. Like I can seriously live. And the rains, water. Like I can live. No, you're the color of rain. Let's yeah. not go there. Yeah. Um <laughs> let's move to the, <laughs> the rain. Let's let let's leave the rain. I mean yeah. it, it no. left us so that's a story for another day. <clears throat> Our little secret. Anywho. <laughs> Everything, sorghum, everything. Like I know, I used to. Girl, when's the lunch? I'm going to go. When's the le? I keep going. When's the le? I swung and go. When's the le? Like beyond, which I love. Yeah, your thing, huh? Mama, yo, sorghum is our power grain. That one, sorghum, because we look at our our Tswana people. Baja eating, and we look at um, you know, there's other religious people who only eat Ilon mm. Amabel, mm. and we're looking at them with who shame, mama, there's power in there, there's so much power, and we need to start tapping into that power because it is not just decorating the garden or the <coughs> shops, it is here to actually, it is here to help you become who you are. Oh. You understand? Remember, food is energy. So by eating the right kinds of food, you are tapping into proper energy. Who your right you energy? You are, you are aligning with who you are supposed to be. You understand? Food can bring up your can seriously just lift up your mood, and food can completely just pop it up. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I think you we, know? we all forget that we mm. actually mm. we also energy. Remember. Energy, we we all energy. So everything around us that is alive is energy. So when you go and put it inside of you, intention, mama, intention. So remember, we're not even. Here's the story. We're not even. We go and pay thousands of monies because we are trying to do so many things. We're like, oh, but I want to cleanse. Oh, but I want to intention. Have good intentions. Be connected to whatever is around you and say with this. I would like to heal my people and it shall be you understand and that is if you are one with what is around you you understand you can literally go and pour a glass of water from the spring water from the ground and say with this cup i want to heal my blood line 
I want to heal who I am. I want to heal all the wounds that I carry. You understand? And believe in it. Mama, intention. So we have to put intention into everything that we do with the food. We're not just eating because we're hungry. Yes, I do. I have moments when I eat because I'm like, I'm about to kill somebody. <laughs> Because you know, I'm hungry, but in Jen Jen Jen, yeah, you know, but in Jen Jen Jen, why are we eating? Why are we eating when this thing is the thing that gives us life? When this plate is the one that makes you go to work and come back and, and actually, because if you don't eat, you you die, unless you're fasting, <laughs> but <laughs> for like a little bit of time. <laughs> but eventually, you're going to go into food. You understand? Why are we not praising this thing? Why are we not respecting this pr- process? Why are we not looking into this thing? Uti? Since it gives me life, what else can it do for everybody else? You understand? What else can I do? You know? So every time I prepare food, I put good intentions in there to say, may it heal. May it go and, 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 and let people feel the love. You know, let people feel the things that I'm feeling, you know? And all the gifts that I come with it. Everything that comes, the magic that comes with Umvelingang, who is the power, you know, nature that gives us the food, you know? Everything that comes from the ground, the healing powers that come from within Buya, let them come to you, you know. So, I love that. Yeah. I love we, that. We're not looking at the magic, eh? Yeah. Sadly. <laughs> yeah. No, but it's exciting to know that soon mm-hmm. you'll be opening a store and we'll have first hand or direct access to the ingredients. Hey, Mama. You keep preaching about it. Yo. It has been a dream for the longest time, you know, to be able to source this good food that I'm talking about. To be able to give people the food that is on your plate to say, okay guys, funa mabele, funa millet, funa imbuya, yeah, you funa, like, uh, so it, what else is there? Uh, Jeff, um, no, you're uh, gonna have to teach like, us. <laughs> like all these other things. So we're gonna have all these, the beans, the Jeff. All the grains that you can find in Africa, you know, we don't have to cross the border to go find them. If you really need them, you can come and find the rest of Africa here. All those dried mushrooms, all the, the spices I'm going to be putting together in Peepo. You know, if you know that you can't find yourself a smudge stick, you know, come here for a smudge stick. If you are sabu get for a day, because you're going to see those pretty you get a apartment, we're ready to see, hey! Okay. Is it moving? <laughs> wow. I'm kidding. That's just a joke. I stalk the guys. <laughs> okay. Yo, yay, yay, yay. You get disturbed by the, the site. So if you feel like... I so just for want, the convenience I just want, of for the things. For the convenience of... I can come and find the things that you don't want to go to. <laughs> if I don't day for come to me, girl. <laughs> or if you don't want to go to, like, a town looking for soga, I'm la pana. Hey, you know, come here. You know, so yeah, that's exactly what we're trying to do. We want to make this food accessible because mm-hmm. we're like, where do you buy this? No, like, come, it's over here, right? And then, yeah. Like, we'll buy it from you, right? Yeah. Are you gonna teach us how? Of to course, make food? you get you get recipes. Okay. You know. Sorry, the flies here. It's we're a farm. At the farm. Right. Duh. <clears throat> so trust me, that's exactly what I want to do. You know, you order a basket of things. Hit me up. Let's do a cooking class together, and. We can just go crazy with the ingredients, you know, whatever grains we can. And, you know, and I'm trying to keep gluten-free stuff, oh, okay. you know, indigenous to this continent, gluten-free and it's clean and it's organic, you know, and we clean the energy so that when it comes to you, it comes to you in, you know, immaculate condition. <laughs> Did I just say immaculate? <laughs> Yo! Now? No, girl. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should end. <laughs> Before we get it twisted, okay, no, I get it twisted. Um, so, um, you might have answered this already, yeah. but I would just like to ask what impact do you want uh, your cooking to have within your community and beyond? I want my people to heal. Uh-huh. Trust me, you know, yo, I want, yo, I think, let me, I think well, I was laughing throughout and I wasn't joking, but I'm good to be serious I hear you. I about hear this you. one. We need to heal. We need to heal from ourselves. We need to heal from everything around us. We need to heal from, you know, the, the generations and generations of trauma and hurt. Because because if we're not healing, we're hurting everybody around us, you know, and sometimes not even being aware that you are hurting people around you, you know. And I want my food to do that. Like, 
every time i never ever go and cook without uttering the word heal you know like i want us to heal from the soul the soul is, you know, our souls are and the soul is always complete but our bodies and our minds and our hearts you know and our, they need to heal you know so we can go back and connect ourselves to our soul because the soul is pure the soul cannot be messed around with you know mm-hmm. you understand and that is the god in you but now we're separating ourselves from god you know because we don't know that we because, are because we don't know that we are you understand you're so separating yourself from your soul so heal, healing is that thing yo it is that thing my wish you know sometimes i pray for rain and i'm like i wish i could literally call the rain right and say when you sprinkle please wash away the pain that all our people carry wash away every single pain that comes from generations and generations because right now it is hindering us from seeing who we are and, and, and moving towards the light you know and keeping the light because there's already darkness in this world i mean we came from a world which is dark and we're the ones who are supposed to be lighting it up you know and and and, and sometimes i'm like i wish i could seriously just go and, and speak to the rain and say listen on a friday yo <laughs> you want to come around <laughs> Like and when Gina everybody Clark, when when yeah when everybody's outside especially those that need you just sprinkle everybody and wash away everything every darkness there is you know so yeah i'm on it girl one day you now see, you're doing you will see that rain ne? and you will see the magic you're doing you gotta go. it you started today right <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so you live in a farm <laughs> We have a garden restaurant popping up, girl. We have our events lining up here. We are the home of Plug Indigenous, Hello. and of course, the name of the store is called Plug In at 99. Okay. Right, and we also have Noni's Home Dish, who, of course, my personal baby, and um, my home dish, of course, I offer food from home, and home is the heart, and home is Africa. So that's the way the food, that the, the name comes from. So this is the home of Plug Indigenous, the home of food and hip hop previously and the home of um, of love of healing and yeah so we want people to come start eating here call me please just you know now i get people saying what are you co- cooking yes. uh, and they come we're gonna eat whatever you're cooking and we want some more of that we don't want to be a, a typical restaurant but we say oh go through the menu no come eat with us We'll give you a proper Let's experience. Let's bread together. We break bread. We do cooking classes here. We do everything, you know. We break bread and borders. That is the tagline wow. of Food and Hip Hop. So this is the home of it. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to enjoy the food. I didn't even tell you the full menu, but you'll, I'll tell you. Did I catch you? You did. <laughs> no, I think I just talked too much. <laughs> I thank you anyways, it was oh, beautiful. I talked too much, gosh. Um, no, Noni, thanks for having us. <laughs> oh yeah, girl, yeah. We out. Girl. <laughs> You're not actually about to eat. <laughs> Hello, I've been waiting. We're done. Yes, we're yeah. done. Boom. No retakes, right? Thank you. <laughs> you asked the to you. Have you thought about where your food comes from? Are you eating for wellness or are you eating to get food? Either way, check out Chef Noni's details in the description below and holla at the girl. Wait, but come on. Hi, I'm a fat guy. Simple as that. But, and all I wanted to say was, it's just hi, it's just hi. Everybody hi. All the fat people. Hey, I'm just a fat guy, baby, come on. And if you're skinny, just shut up and sit down. <laughs> Get a snack or something. <laughs> hey, larger than life, yo. Size my bubble. 
It's hard to bend down sometimes. I can't touch my toes. I gotta slow down from now. I gotta watch my woes. I know on some double XL and more when I fit on some clothes. Yo, it shows so I slow down my roll. I've been uh, down that road before so many times and back. Each of loads back to never look like in a Tyson match. Yo, being fat physically, I have the right to act so. Lyrically, you know who's holding it down. It's fat souls, literally. Even gravity agrees with me. With you rapidly, but with good mentally, hey, we can cram a two page long food recipe. Food specialist, dudes wrecking it. Other talents include feeding a plate like two seconds in. For food, we do get crunched, so do let us in. There's more pushing for the pushing if we do get it in. Say hi. Say the word. Stories. Cut it. 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 Cut it.